Welcome to the Box of Inspirations. The place where you get the best for you and your business from successful people and entrepreneurs. Hello, Box of Inspiration listeners. My name is Brian Horn. I'm with Authority Alchemy, and I'm considered to be the pioneer of authority marketing. And what I want to talk to you about today is the advice we've always heard about to be seen as an expert, you have to call yourself an expert. Now, I strongly disagree with that. And in fact, I actually suggest there's absolutely no need to ever call yourself an expert again. Why? Well, if you think about it, back in the back years ago, that used to be the advice we'd get. Nobody's ever going to ordain you as an expert or ordain you as a, a leader. So just to call yourself one was the advice we got. And that worked for a while, but it, it doesn't work anymore. It got overdone. And so what is working now, what we help people with and encourage people to do is to get third-party verifications, third-party uh credentials of being that authority. It works much, much better. Now, this is the basis of what authority marketing is. Just to give you a quick definition, authority marketing helps entrepreneurs and professionals leverage their knowledge to gain authority status in their industry, then allows them to dramatically amplify their message and convert their new audience into higher paying customers. Basically, in other words, it's a process for positioning yourself as an authority or even a celebrity in your marketplace. A few ways to do that. First, as I said before, is the third party verifications. There's, there's a lot of ways you could do this. This could be big places. This could be you getting featured in national media stories, you publishing a book on Amazon is a great way of just being a published author has an incredible amount of authority. And a lot of us that have been in the uh, business world or online market world for a while become blind or desensitized to things like that. But if you go walk down the street, hit up 10 of your neighbors and go, would you be impressed if I told you that I have a published book? 10 out of 10 are going to say yes. Right. And that's a lot of us forgetting this. So that's, so that's another good one. It can also be small things as small as you being a guest on a podcast like this one I'm on right now it could be you having a guest blogging appearance on a industry blog. There's so many opportunities for you to do that. But the real power comes in not from you actually doing that, but from how you leverage that with the people that are already following you. All right, so what I'm going to do after this show airs, this particular podcast episode, I'm going to share that with my whole audience and say, hey, I was just uh, featured on uh, this this, uh, this podcast. Uh, very cool. Go listen to it. I'll do a, a news release, put it up where it gets published on ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox, then share that with, with my followers. And because I do these things every single week, they are constantly seeing me in the media, constantly being interviewed, uh, you know, constantly appearing in different places. And that does nothing but grow my authority. I go, wow, this Brian Hork guy is getting interviewed some new place every single week. That is some really powerful stuff. I want to know how he does that. And he must know what he's talking about. And that's where the, that's where the power comes in. And, and what I want to share with you is a story of how this can really grow quickly. Uh, we call it the authority snowball effect. And it basically starts, the principle is that to get bigger, you must go fast and continually add more snow. And snow is, is you know, a little bit. Snow is not, we're not talking about just a you know, huge big wins right away. We're talking about the little stuff, but doing them fast every week, constantly. And I started off doing uh, doing podcast doing uh, really even back back even back before podcast but I was doing guest blogging and just did some guest blogging on smaller sites got up to where I was doing some industry sites got a pretty good uh, you know catalog of places I was publishing and was getting a, a following getting a lot of good examples of my work up there and then I was uh, approved to be a, a contributor for the Huffington Post did that for a while and I wrote an article about the branding genius of Howard Stern. Within minutes of that being published, I was able to, I was contacted by 
two people on Howard Stern's staff that asked me to come on his show to be interviewed about that article. A couple days later, I was interviewed on the, the Howard Stern show, which if you, know, you, know, you hate him or love him, his show has about six to eight million listeners each day, which is about the same amount that listen to uh, Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon combined on a regular week. He has a massive audience. Uh, people that heard that show were one was Perez Hilton, who's one of the biggest celebrity bloggers. He did an article uh, about me and, and authority marketing on his site and also a, a uh, editor for Entrepreneur Magazine who immediately contacted me and asked me to come write for Entrepreneur Magazine. But I'm talking about Snowball Effect. That's what I'm talking about. So start off with me doing small things, continually putting myself out there, got to a, a larger opportunity, and now a you know, writing weekly for you know, Entrepreneur Magazine it just hits my target audience every time. And I'm getting you know tens of thousands of, of shares and uh, interactions on each thing I write for that uh, that publication. So it just grows dramatically. Now, how you can do that, same process I follow. Don't try to jump right away into say, okay, I'm going to write for Entrepreneur. I want to write for Huffington Post. I'm going to go uh, go contact their editors there and try to get them to publish my articles. Now, you might be able to do that, but it's best if you have some work that they can see to start off with. So what I do, I would start looking for industry blogs, ones that take on guest uh, guest contributors. A very generic business one that's uh, pretty good to start off with is called allbusiness.com, just A-L-L business.com. You can contact them if you've written for your own blog for a while and have a good record of uh, interactions on there. You've got a decent social media following. You can probably jump in there and start doing stuff and you'll get you know, you know, 100 plus interactions on that each time you post something without you having to even uh, uh, publish it to your list or push it on your list of your followers. But uh, that's really it. That's what I want to talk about uh, authority marketing, why it's so, so important is because those the little things like I showed you today, even just being featured on, on blogs or being featured guest on podcasts, uh, on a consistent basis will will not only uh, position you as more of an authority to your your list, your followers, your prospects and customers, it'll it'll start to position you that way to other people that are looking for experts to share con to share their content with. Because people now look out to me to, to say, Brian, I want you to share your uh, ideas and your expertise with my followers, and it's nothing but give me more exposure, give me more uh, prospects, more clients, more business, helps me grow our company by doing nothing but that. We don't do typical marketing. We do authority marketing almost exclusively because that's really all we have to do. So I'm, we're constantly being, uh, uh, getting appearances and getting published different places. So it's a really good way to, at least to right now, to start off, uh, to, or at least to add in to your current marketing plan. It's doing some authority marketing. Get out there, create Good, what we call educator advocate content. So, in the content you're creating, don't try to prove that you're an expert. I said the beginning, don't call yourself an expert. Just try to be what we call that educator advocate. Just educate your prospects and customers and advocate for them. Show that you care for their success. You do those two things, and you're going to have a great following. And it's going to start moving very, very quickly for you. Now, I would like to thank. Box of Inspirations for having me on the, the show today. And I'd like to invite everybody listening to come over to authorityalchemy.com to hear past show episodes, to read blog posts. We've got free video training on there. So a lot of stuff for everybody. So again, thank you so much for having me on today. And I look forward to interacting with each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in on today's episode. Head on over to boxofinspirations.com for full recaps and much more.